Oh, hey, you two. So, can a glider go around? Let's find out, shall we? Yes, yes we can. However, it's not quite the same as a plane. First of all, what is a go around? Generally a plane, if it's not set up for a stable approach onto finals or something unusual happens unexpectedly, for example, they suddenly spot an animal on the runway, you initiate a go around. And that's giving the aircraft full power, going back into a climb, going around and trying to land again. Now, of course, most gliders don't have an engine and even the ones that do have an engine, you can't get your engine up and running that quickly. So going around is generally not an option for a glider. So here in New Zealand, we're allowed to practice this maneuver, crossing a competition finish line at high speed. And then we pull up, go into the circuit and land again. So it's a little different in that we have a lot of speed and a lot of energy before we go into the go around. Obviously, a normal landing in a glider, we're not going at high speed. So, what are our options there? So training is one of the most important things for a glider pilot. We have to train our students to be able to get nice and high for their final approach. Being high and gives them more time to actually sort out their final approach, get lined up with the runway, and then initiate a good landing. It's critical we don't let students go solo and fly by themselves until we know they can definitely do that. And in the first example we showed at the beginning of this uh, video, you could see that student was just not ready. So what are you going to do if, say for example, a gazelle leaps out in front of you as you're about to land? We don't have many gazelles here. It's mainly Kiwis. More likely a car is going to pull out in front of you unexpectedly. What are you going to do? How are you going to cope? What's going to happen? Well, here we are in the glider about to land. So I wanted to demonstrate how a glider can do a go around. Now obviously, unless you're going really fast, you can't actually do a go around, but we do have some options. Let's see if you're gone. And the main option is to put our brakes away, fly over whatever obstacle we've got in front of us, and uh, do another landing further up the field. And uh, we're gonna demonstrate that now. I've got the airfield down to our right here. I'm just going to do a normal approach and landing. Springfield Trevac, glider golf, Oscar Bar, downwind to eight. Right, straps secure, undercarriage is down and locked. Flaps, we'll set the flaps appropriately. Brakes, we'll get the brakes out. So I'm looking at the airfield and our aiming point on the airfield. And currently I'm aiming to land right down the end of the runway. And then we're going to pretend that something leaps out at us. In an airplane, you do a go around, but in a glider, we can't. Okay, I'm looking at the angle, deciding how high are we. We're a bit too high at the moment, but we've got quite a headwind to push into, so that's good. I'm gonna be landing a bit faster than normal because I wanna get down the other end of the field and it's windy down there, so. Springfield, Oscar Papa, turning finals, 2-8. Okay, so I'm gonna aim at the end of the field here. Now at any point here, I can change my mind and put my brakes away. So we're not going to do it quite yet, but let's say a car or a person suddenly leaps out in front of you. What do you do? I'm just going to put the brakes away. And then suddenly, I'm flying over the airfield. Now I can choose to open the brakes again. I choose a new aiming point down, let's say, where the cross vector meets. And I'm going to come down and that's going to be my new aiming point. Here we go, a nice gentle flare. So the key is, a glider can glide a long way. Even a medium performance glider, from about a thousand feet, you can glide 10 kilometers, or about six miles. So if you're at 200 feet on final approach, if you put the brakes away, you can glide at least two kilometers before hitting the ground. 
Typically gliders only need a few hundred meters to land. So if you're landing on a long airfield, there's normally plenty of opportunity to put the brakes away and land further up the field. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. What happens when you subscribe? Well, you get notified about new videos. That's exciting, isn't it? You don't have to pay any money to subscribe. Just click the subscribe button. Then click the like button, because I really like the like button. Not the dislike button. Don't click that. We don't want to make this controversial. Don't forget, T-shirts.